The Great Ohio Toy Show. Seven buildings stuffed full with 700 vendors selling thousands of toys and collectibles that span who knows how many decades. Very rarely do I find myself completely overwhelmed. This show did the trick. I've never seen that many in one place before. That's crazy. What do you know about this script? Would you make a deal on this and the three loose ones? Uh... Bloggy flips. <laughs> You're welcome to look in the back also. Okay, thank you. Good morning. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Getting, getting that other stuff on you? <laughs> oh yeah. You bring any heat with you? I thought it was going to be warmer. Hopefully it warms up soon. Uh, I believe it will. I, I think, think the rain's starting to back off yeah. a little bit now. Yeah. Under, under the table, there's a dollar box, two dollar box, three dollar box, five dollar box, ten dollar box. Six hundred dollars each. Well, these are all vintage? Yes. I've never seen that many in one place before. That's crazy. The top was filled at one point. Yeah. 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 Froggy flips. Yep. Told you. <laughs> How's it going, man? I watch your show all the time. Oh, man. awesome, man. What's your name? Kenny Kurtz. I do all the 3D printing and stuff. Awesome. Very cool, man. Nice to I meet you. I knew you were this close to Ohio. I know you were like, down in Indiana or something. Yeah. It was like an hour and a half to get here. I got a picture of it? Yeah, sure. I watched I appreciate your uh, Star Wars pickup not too long ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Great pickup. Like... There's an awesome oh, collection, by the way, too. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you. It's cool, man. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too, hey, buddy. Here. Good luck to you. So those are larger muscle men, essentially, oh. yeah, yeah. from Japan. So oh, okay. they're $4 each, three for 10 Okay. Are they from the same time period? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. They? They're they're 80s vintage. They huh. just never, they only made them in Japan. They didn't bring them over to the U.S. It's pretty cool. I, yeah. I so, didn't even know that. It's a lot of the same characters. Very neat. Oh, that? It's nice. Oh, the Ewok Village. That's a maybe. Okay. Feel free to make offers on anything. Okay. How much are you asking on the Ewok Village? Just out of curiosity. Um, the one thing I do know about it, uh -huh. it's got everything. But I know that's not the original string holding the cage. Okay. And the original string holding the net is missing. Okay. But with the box, everything else is complete. Um, I, mean, I could do 300. Okay. I think I had 325 on it. Right on. But, I'll think about it. You know, feel free to make offers. Sure, thank you. Good morning, how are you? How are you? Good, thanks. My name is Anthony. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah. Hey, man. Oh really? <laughs> we just That's awesome. watching your videos like last month or something. Very and cool. We're, like like <laughs> so weird about it. We watched like three hours. Man. Well, that's awesome. I appreciate that. It's, Thank you. Uh, we were like, I wonder if you would come to something like this. I would. It was like an hour and a half away. So oh, that's yeah, awesome. very awesome. Well, What's welcome. your name? Liza. Liza. I'm Matt. Matt, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Very cool. That's so awesome. <laughs> you do great work. Well, Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's fun. I'm sure you know it's. Fun to live toys. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And when it when it's cold out and we can't go to garage sales, we're just watching you go. To <laughs> it works out just. That's the same. awesome. Thank you so much. You've almost got the full set. I see that. Oh my god, I'm sweating over here. Oh, baby bog ones. Those bog ones are 100 each. I okay. More on them, but okay. Or 300 for the full. 300 for all of them. Yeah, trying to move some stuff that I've had for a minute. At That's pretty cool. Was. I know loose they go for just about that. If you need help with anything, let me know. Thank you. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. How much do you have on the monsters here? I got 175 on the set. On the set? Yeah. Huh. So they're from uh, Spain? Spain or... Pretty cool. Yeah. 
You don't see them too often, but yeah, that's all there. I mean, you see them maybe once in a while on eBay, but they'll be like just, you know, Lily. Yeah. I want to say Herman, Herman and Lily are kind of tough. You see these two every once in a while. Is that all that were made or? Yeah, just the four. Just the four? Would you do 150? Uh, how about I do half? Well, how about 160? 160? Yep. Awesome, man. And they're stock. They're actually. Like <laughs> it looks sweet, like it, yeah. Squeaky toys or whatever. So awesome, man. Thank you so All much. Right, thank you. Appreciate it. Good luck. Hi. How are you doing? Good, good. Um, can I check a couple prices sure, with you? Sure, absolutely. Uh, the uh, Rimco Lurch? Uh, 120. 120? Really clean. The hair is perfect on them. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, and then what about the puppy stickers? Uh, I've got 650. It's a full box. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then I think the last one was the Star Wars gum. I've got 600 on 600. them. 600. Okay. That's never open. Pretty neat. All right. I'm going to think about the Lurch. Thank you so much. Good morning. How's it going today? Doing well. How are you? Good, thanks. He's a sun man, a vintage sun man. Look at all the Thundercats on card. Silverhawks on card. Wow. That's going to be pricey. Oh, thank you so much, man. What's your name? Matt. Matt, nice to meet you. Anthony. Move it down and also join her. Forty on the thing. Okay. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna lay it down for a sec though. Okay. Yeah, that's how I got that one done. Yeah. Yeah, it was hilarious. One more question. What about the script? Sure. Uh, 400. 400? What do you know about this script? I actually bought a, uh, a, a group of uh, Adams Family uh, memorabilia that actually personally came from John Aston. Okay. And there were like photos and props and pieces and I got it. I actually had a couple different scripts and the last script I put up online I got over $700. Wow. They're original scripts from the 1965 series and then um, they're obviously they're signed by Aston, Pugsley, and Cousin. That's pretty cool. Now, two of the three of them have passed, and, and John Aston is, I think, 96 or 98 years old now. All right, 400, man. You got it. Okay. Do you want that thing? Yes, I do. So, okay, so, so it's 450. Because so I saw someone else pick it up. I Oh, yeah. I forgot all about it. it. And it is complete. It does have the back cover. Awesome. And all the pages inside are complete as well. Sweet. I'm going to take this. Okay. There's the four, and then you said 40 bucks on that one. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you for looking. Appreciate it. How are you? I like that. It's so nice. Good job. Okay. Clearance. Clearance. Awesome. Three of them actually have hats when he was the super mini. Yeah. He didn't have a hat. What are these from? The these these here these are from the 60s okay they were sold one at a time really yeah like at disney world or something or no, disneyland no, they were out on the oh just in shelves the, in the stores yeah during them made them they're pretty clean i was asking 20 for four 20 for four yeah this sounds like a deal man okay sounds good the this one's actually a marks to tell you the truth oh is it really yeah oh you're 25 then 25 yeah that's cool pretty neat i like it cool thank you sir it's pretty nice thank you have a good one Let's see. Okay. Those things you can run on just over the take them. Yeah. How's it going? Good, Anthony. What's up, man? Anthony. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Brian. Brian? Nice to meet you. I've been watching you for 
couple years now. Awesome, man. So I'm like, hey, it's on your time, so <laughs> I got Star Wars stuff. And Appreciate it. Take a look. Awesome, man. Up. You don't have any Last 17 Star Wars stuff, do you? No. No? No, I got a cantina place in it. Oh, do you really? Mm -hmm. yeah, let me see that real quick. 13, it has no cable. Oh, 13. Work. Okay. And then, uh, Ooh, it's tempting. And that one seems like a good deal, too, that carded Greedo. Mm hmm. The bubble up in the bottom. Is oh, is it coming up a little bit? That's cool, though. I'm gonna think about that one, man. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. No Thank you so much. Frogster. Hey man. What's up, dude? How's it going? I enjoy your videos. I'm Thank sure you so you much. All the time. I appreciate that. And what's your name? Joe. Joe, nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. What do you have on the toilet paper? I'm asking 60 bucks each. 60? Okay. I'll probably mail and deal with you a little bit if you want to go and I do 50. 50? I'll 45 for them. Yeah, I'll do one for 50, man. Cool. This is the better box. Okay. I want to check them out. It's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. Heck yeah. So. I didn't even know they existed. Thanks, brother. Pretty awesome, man. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Yeah, we took all the modern stuff to uh, Lexington. Lexicon down there. You got the Harley Davidson shop yet? Is that head popper graded or is it or is it, it just is, uh, yeah. encased? 85. 85. Pretty cool. And then we have uh, these three loose. I ones. saw those. Yeah. And then there's a tub down there. That purple tub. Yeah, a bunch just of like full of them. Would you make a deal on this and the three loose ones? Uh, 450 for all of them. Oh yeah, sure, yeah. awesome. I just put them out like five minutes ago. Yeah, I was here earlier, didn't see them. Yeah, so they were all in a box of stuff to put out, but they didn't have any prices with them. Yeah. So Perfect. Them <laughs> Perfect timing. Right. Awesome, there man, thank you, you so much, bub. Cool, thank you. Excuse me, sir. And we made it back to the showroom. The Great Ohio Toy Show. Seven buildings stuffed full with 700 vendors selling thousands of toys and collectibles that span who knows how many decades. At this point with the situations I've been in, the collections I've seen, very rarely do I find myself completely overwhelmed. This show did the trick. Normally I pride myself on the ability to make quick decisions with very little regret. But at this show, all I kept thinking was, don't buy that because you don't know what's at the next booth. Don't buy that because you don't know what's across the room. Don't buy that because you don't know what's in this other building. Eventually I just had to set a goal to try to look for something that I didn't feel like I could easily just get on eBay, order it for about the same price and have it shipped to my house in a couple days. Something that I thought would possibly have a little more rarity or scarcity about it. I had to remind myself what treasure hunting was all about. Out. At the end of the day, I think that ended up working. I'm happy with what I came home with. Real quick, let's check it out. We'll start here with what I consider my most questionable buy. It's all these Mickey Mouse figures. Aside from this Marks guy right here, the rest of them are made by a company called Durham. Now, I don't necessarily have a fondness for Mickey Mouse or Disney in general, so why would I buy all of these Mickey Mouse figures when I'm surrounded by so much other crazy stuff? And honestly, I don't really know. I kind of like the way they look. I like the guy that was running the booth. It's kind of funny how he announced that it was a clear sale and this uh, Superman style Mickey's kind of cool looking and then we have these squishy Munsters figures from Spain they have the big Bugs Bunny Warner Brothers logo on them I had personally never seen these before I thought they looked really cool I liked how they were in the original packaging I liked how the entire set was there I ended up paying 160 for the set I had certainly hoped that they were somewhat rare obviously I've done a little research after the fact it turns out that it's it's not that difficult to get the entire set for about the same price I paid I still think they're really cool though we have Herman Lily grandpa and of course Eddie and they do make the little squishy sound now that I know it wasn't necessarily a crazy solid investment kind of tempted just to open them all and display them that way in a uh, display case or something because I think they would look better that way we'll see though still pretty cool I'm probably one of very few people that bought toilet paper at a gigantic vintage toy show but this has actually been on my radar for quite some time from 1979 it's Marvel toilet paper 
starring the Incredible Hulk and the Amazing Spider-Man. An all-original story. I was re-watching an episode of Kevin Smith's Comic Book Men recently, and this exact same thing walked into their store at one point. They also spent 50 bucks on it, so I was actually fine with that price. I think it's really cool. I've wanted one ever since I saw the episode uh, years ago, and it was funny how I was recently reminded of it and then actually saw it at a toy show. Very cool. The box is in good shape. It's got a little bit of wear on the outside here, but I'm guessing that it's mostly there. But yeah, I spent 50 bucks for used toilet paper at a toy show. And then we have this awesome little instant collection of the 1986 Head Popping Mad Balls. These came from the toy department booth. The toy department is a store based out of Cincinnati that I've wanted to visit for a long time and I've still yet to do. They have a reputation for just getting the craziest stuff in their store. Because of where they're located, they, they tend to specialize in like Kenner prototypes and stuff like that. Just rare stuff that you don't see all the time. And from what I understand, their prices are so good and so competitive competitive that they have a no haggle policy inside their store and honestly I would believe it probably could have bought anything from their booth and left happy but me being such a fan of the 80s grotesque like blurt balls and garbage pill kids and boglins and of course mad balls this is what I gravitated towards I have never seen a head popping mad balls card this nice this was even graded I've I've definitely never seen one graded before and it's graded an 85 this is very very interesting these cards are pretty known from getting beat up so I didn't think I would ever see another one. This is Oculus Orbis. Just the carded figure alone in pretty average condition I've seen sell for between two and three hundred bucks. This one was marked at four hundred. And then to find three complete working figures is also kind of a challenge in itself. We have Wolf Breath. I believe this is Skull Face and this is Dust Brain. I've seen these loose figures sell in this condition for eighty to a hundred plus bucks a piece. They were marked at 75, 75, and 80. So the way everything was marked it would have added up to 630 bucks when he came down to 450 my head just about popped off such a cool collection do not regret this one bit can't wait to actually check out the store and then we have what might be one of the coolest things i've ever found at a show or a convention i had it in my head to try to find something super rare maybe one of a kind if the graded mad ball figure doesn't fit the bill this certainly does. This is a script from the original Adams Family show dated May 6th, 1965. The episode was called Morticia and Gomez versus Fester and Mama. I actually found and watched this episode. I believe it's season two, episode 17, but this is signed by three cast members. Ken Weatherwax, I believe is how you pronounce it. He played Pugsley. Felix Silla, who played Cousin It, and of course John Aston, who played Gomez Adams. The way the guy told the story, this might have been John Aston's personal script. I have no way to really verify that, but it's kind of a cool story. It was really fun to watch the episode and kind of follow along on the script. If you get to certain pages, you can see like, like markups done with pencil, just where whoever was using it was taking notes, giving themselves cues and such. Just a really neat piece. The guy said that he also had another one that was signed by, I believe it was just Felix Silla and John Aston, and it sold on eBay for over $700. I did find that listing. It did indeed sell at auction for well over 700 bucks. He gave me this one for $400. I think it was a super solid deal. Such a cool little piece of pop culture history, television history, in a way, horror history. What I was looking for at a show like this without knowing what I was looking for. And I guess I should mention the Thing Bank also. This was $40 from the same booth. It does not work. They rarely do, but for $40, that's less than you would expect to pay for a non-working one. So still a very solid deal. But man, oh man, this script, so awesome. That is all I got for you this time. As always, Always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, love ya, bye.